Hello, I'm Chantelle Adams, and I am here with my friend Jen Soong for Mission Driven Monday. Hi, Jen. Hi, Chantelle. Hello. So, Jen has been my friend for about five years. We met at an organization called Plywood People, which is based here in Atlanta, and it helps creative entrepreneurs further their mission. Uh, Jen is the founder of Root City Market, which was a collector of makers in the Atlanta area who kind of got together to um, learn from each other and to sell their wares. She now lives in California, and she's working on a memoir about her Chinese heritage. Uh, Jen is just fabulous. She's smart. She's a graduate of Cornell University. And I have enjoyed getting to know her these last five years. So thanks for joining me today, Jen. Thanks for having me. And also, Jen is married and she has two kids. So I'm about to ask you this first question. And because I know that you have kids, when I say, what is your proudest accomplishment? You're not allowed to say your kids because I know that's what you would say as a mom. But besides your kids, what is your proudest accomplishment? I took a few notes. Um, I know you want this to be just conversational. But <laughs> it's okay. So the thing I'm most proud of is being an entrepreneur, of having a vision and bringing it to life through an enterprise um, and building connections in my community and having an impact in that way on the world around me. And I believe in taking risks, but they don't always come naturally. Mm -hmm. so the other thing I wanted to mention was when I first heard this question, my imposter syndrome totally kicked in. Um, <laughs> I felt like, oh, I don't have any accomplishments worthy of this interview. I don't, you know, you should go interview other people. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to mention this because I think this is a feeling a lot of us have. Mm -hmm. And I think we have to redefine what success means on our own terms. Yeah. So when you say that, when you say redefine success, um, you probably didn't take notes on this, but what, is, what does success mean to you? What does that look like for you? Um, so I think that, you know, when I was a student in school, like in college, I think I thought that meant um, career. And I thought that meant like having a certain number of achievements, you know, measurable accomplishments, awards, you know, the trophies almost. And I think that as I'm older and have had, you know, lots of different careers, I think that it really means doing work that's meaningful to me, uh, making meaningful connections, and really building a life that I'm proud of how I spend day to day, not so much this like title degree or um, accolade. Right. Well, I think that's an interesting point because I feel like um, all of the books that are about success, they tie in success with um, money and with, you know, like business acumen and things like that. And you're right. It isn't necessarily about that. I mean, there are a few things I think in our life that we get to totally define for ourselves, but success is definitely one of them. And I especially agree with you that when we come together as a community to make that community better, um, everyone benefits because everyone has the opportunity to be successful. All right, question number two. Uh, this has quickly become one, well, they're, all three of these questions are my favorite questions, but I like this question because um, I'm getting a chance to learn from other people. I mean, some of whom I know and some who I don't know, um, but when I'm gonna ask you, what are you learning right now? Like, what are the things that you're working on? I love hearing the answers to this question because makes me think about my own things in my own life that I'm working on or things that I should be working on or, Hey, I want to explore this further. So tell me a little bit about what you're learning right now. Well, one thing that I've been learning recently is about digital storytelling. So I've always written um, in primarily used words. So trying to use a new medium using video um, and visual imagery to tell a story. So I'm excited mm -hmm. about that. Um, I think that that just kind of when you said, what, what are you learning? Like I'm always trying to learn something new. Yeah. Um, but I also would say most recently with my move, I feel like that has also taught me a lot. Like I've learned a lot um, about transitions and change. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, trying to embrace change a little more um, is a good thing. 
Yeah. Oh, that's always a good thing. That's always a good thing. Um, I feel like you and I have this in common. Like we're both learners, right? I mean, I love to learn new things, love to try new things. Um, it seems like there's always something on the horizon that it's like, Oh, I want to stop what I'm doing right now. Cause I want to try this new thing. And I know that I have a tendency to sort of get buried in the weeds sometimes because I get so busy learning that it's hard for me to shift from learning to actually doing. There's so many things that I all, that I'm just so hungry to learn. Like I just feel like there's not enough time to learn all the things that I want to learn about. I think we definitely share that in common. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Question number three. Now, this one is the hard one for people because I feel like you have to be very reflective, but when you think about your future and kind of what you want to be known for, what you want your future self to look like, um, I, I often ask people, like, can you think of three adjectives or three words that you would like to use to describe that future self? And I don't know if you did it in that way or if you're going to explain it in a different way, but what does your future self look like? Okay, so I did pick three words. I'm blanking on the third one. Um, so the first one is integrity. And uh, the question I ask myself is, am I living a life of integrity? Hmm. Uh, the second word uh, that I chose is creative. So am I stoking my creative energy? So I think that that can be in work and also in side projects or um, even just at home. Yeah. Um, and the third one is honest. Um, so when I think of honest, I mean, am I showing up in an honest way um, that allows myself and others to be truly seen? Yeah, those are good words. And I feel like the, especially the honest and the integrity, they, they go hand in hand in a lot of ways. Um, and I feel like it's really hard to do that because when we're honest with ourselves and with others, we also have to be very um, authentic and open. And that can sometimes be very difficult, especially if we grew up um, living very private lives, you know, and I think it's okay to be private, but also um, there's, there's beauty in being able to share our stories as well. Sure. And I think that that, um, I don't mean like that every person you meet, you have to, you know, share your most vulnerable moments. Sure. Sure. <laughs> but I think that, you know, um, what you mentioned about, like, I grew up in a very private family, mm -hmm. but I think that um, when we really make connections with people, it's usually when we reveal something, you know, personal about ourselves, and when someone else shares something personal about their life. Yeah, yeah. Well, I love that. Well, Jen, thank you very much for being with us today. And as always, if you're tuning in, in the comments section, I will include links for how you can connect with Jen and how you can read some of what she has written. Um, she, she writes beautiful words, uh, poetry, essays, just all kinds of things. And I've really enjoyed um, getting to see what's in her heart come out on the page. So thanks for joining us again, Jen. Thank you. Thank you.